Hi there, just for sweets here. I am going to make a food 911 series um, taco meat that you can use either in tacos or you can use it in enchiladas or burritos. I have some leftover um, ground beef. I made some hamburger patties for dinner last night and this is what we didn't use. I have some leftover refried beans from a meal and um, I have a can of diced tomatoes. I have some leftover shells that I haven't decided whether I'm going to do tacos or enchiladas yet with it. But I wanted to go ahead and, and show you my version of a food 911. Um, I have my pan on and I have um, put a little bit of grapeseed oil in the pan just to help. I mean, this is a, a low fat, it's a lean ground beef. So I don't know how much fat it's going to produce and I don't want it to get too sticky or anything. So I went ahead and heated up the pan with the grapeseed oil. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick that ground beef in the pan. And I have my little chopper here. You've seen me use this in my other videos. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop this meat up. You want to just let it get going. I have it on about a medium high heat. And we're going to let it get sizzling here. Now when I do this, I usually mix my my ground beef after it's cooked. I put the refried beans in it. You'll see what I do here. So we're going to throw this away. Wash our hands. And I might, I have a, some tomatoes that I need to use up and a couple avocados. I'm probably going to make like an avocado pico de gallo. I've got some cilantro and some red onion in there. Today I did go to the store and I did buy um, a fresh jalapeno, so I might even put that in there. So we're going to let this start browning. And I have chopped up about five cloves of garlic that I'm going to go ahead and let those saute with the hamburger meat. And I just chopped them fine. And I also have um, some rancher steak rub from Wild Tree, but if you don't have Wild Tree products, um, it's pretty similar to Montreal steak seasoning. So I'm going to put a couple little sprinkles of that on there to give it some seasoning. Just stir that all together. This is the boring part, watching it brown. But you want it to just kind of brown in there. Hamburger meat does not take that long to cook once it gets going. And I like to chop it pretty thin. I'll probably end up making some enchiladas out of this because I have some enchilada sauce in my pantry. And there goes the good old phone. Okay, so while this is browning, we're going to open up. I have a can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I'm going to open that up. Open those up and get them ready. The refried beans are already in a plastic bowl because they were left over, so that's all ready. And you're going to want the juice and everything from these Rotel tomatoes. Let's brown this again or flip it around. Let it keep browning. Make sure you uh, watch some of my other videos. I have a lot of uh, fun food 911. And what I mean by food 91 is you know how it is. You, you've either gone to the store or you haven't gone to the store and you just can't figure out a meal to put together and maybe you don't have all the right ingredients for what it calls for. You just kind of go through your fridge and your pantry and you find what you have and you substitute items or make up your own thing. Um, it's, it's real simple. I mean, I made a breakfast sandwich and I basically used bagels that needed to be used up that, you know, I was going to the store and I needed to use those up before I bought anything else. I had some bacon that needed to be used. And um, I made uh, bagel sandwiches. I had sweet potatoes that need to be used and made pan fried sweet potatoes. I mean, that's the version of a food 911. It's when you need to make a meal, you don't feel like going to the store, you just want to cook and be done. And it's just substituting items and being creative and making up your own meal. And you know what? Normally, those meals turn out better than any other meals. There was one time I made a chicken enchilada soup, and um, I basically had, it was funny, I had leftover chicken, I had a can of tomato soup, I ha actually had two cans of tomato soup, I had some leftover pinto beans from a polo loco, I had some leftover salsa from a polo loco, 
I can't even remember what else I had. And I threw it all into my crock pot and made soup out of it. And to this day, everyone says, you never gave me the recipe. And that's because I don't have a recipe. I just literally cleaned out my refrigerator and threw it all together. Okay, so now this meat is all brown. You see how fast that happened. And normally I would drain any excess fat out, but because this is such a low fat hamburger meat or ground beef, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave what little bits in there because some of it's grapeseed oil. I do like grapeseed oil. I use wild tree grapeseed oils. They have a bunch of infused ones. And if I had the jalapeno one right now, I'd probably use that, but I just use the natural grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil can burn at a hotter heat than any vegetable, canola, olive oil, so it doesn't, it doesn't um, get brown or anything, and it's a very, very healthy oil for you. Okay, so now we're gonna turn this down. We're going to add, this is Wild Tree Fajita Seasoning Blend, um, but if you don't have this, just use taco seasoning. You know, the packets of that if you want to. The reason I like um, Wild Tree is they don't use any chemicals in their seasonings. So there's um, a lot of those other ones that you buy at the store that are in bags are all done with fillers and silicones and it's scary. But I did some research on it and what I like about these is they're completely natural and you can read everything in them. There's nothing funky that you can't pronounce and um, they're, just, they're just way better for you. They also help like if, if you have ADHD or your children have ADHD, it helps... Um, it helps with that, it doesn't help the disease itself, but it helps with the mentality and the things that go on in the mind, um, not having all those preservatives and stuff. So this smells really super good. We're gonna add our refried beans to this and our can of diced tomatoes. Rotel with green chilies. We're gonna mix all that together. It smells delicious. And there you go. You have a Food 911 yummy taco mix. Hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like button if you like it, and I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, God bless.